Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, another Harry Potter video. I don't know, I just, there's a very broad topic. You can discuss Tumblr posts all day. You can discuss fan art. You can discuss books, the books. You can discuss the clothing, the wands, the merch. It's an endless topic. Today, I will be reviewing the Harry Potter book series, um, the UK edition. Yeah, let's, let's just get started. So, it comes in this beautiful red box. I don't really understand. It looks like, you know, like Chinese dragon whole color things because it's red and gold dragon. I don't know it's really my, what it reminds me of. Um, so, it's got this dragon on the front. The rest of it, the wings on the top. And then it says Harry Potter on either side. And it's got this on the back. And then, if you open it up, and there is nothing in there, because I took the books out so it wouldn't be heavy. First, you have Philosopher's Stone, and this, well, I, I wanted these covers because they were gorgeous, 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 but also, it says Philosopher's Stone instead of Sorcerer's Stone, like the American editions do, and I just wanted, like, an original, like, it's the real deal. So, on the back... You have a picture of an owl delivering Harry's letter. And on the front, there's just really amazing artwork. So there's Harry, Hermione, Ron, Hagrid, Hogwarts, and then it says Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in really pretty gold writing. Here is the side. And then you open up the cover it's got gold stars and it says the book title on the spine in gold then we have Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets so there's a basilisk and a phoenix or well the phoenix fox the phoenix you have Harry holding Gryffindor's sword here's the side and then the back has this so, so, so cute picture of Dobby. I love it. It's so adorable. There's that. Next is one of my favorites. It is Prisoner of Azkaban. And it's got Harry's Patronus. Harry. Um, Dementors all around. Found that one. My dog just belched, so I hope you didn't hear that. Um, Dementors all around. Because that was gross. Then it's got the night bus on the back. And then it's beautiful dark blue with the stars on it. It's so pretty. Then there is, of course, a goblet of fire. It's got the, is it a Hungarian horn tail that Harry fought? got that and then Harry riding his broom the egg it's really pretty and then on the back is the golden trio it's really cute for some reason instead of this being a light blue book it's the same color as prisoner of Azkaban which I I think they should have done light blue since the outside is light blue not dark blue next is my other favorite book and that is order of the phoenix so it's got a festral well a few festrals hogwarts and on the back is just snape i don't i'm not sure why it's kind of weird whatever and then red and this matches the box that they came in. <laughs> so then you have Half-Blood Prince. And it's just got Dumbledore and all those like undead zombie things. Harry. Some fire. The um, thing in the back, I forget what that's called. And then... It is orange. It's actually a nice orange, um, because I don't really like orange that much, but it's like a soft orange. 
And then, last but certainly not least, you have the Deathly Hallows. It's got Voldemort, Nagini, Harry. Um, I'm sure that's. Oh, that's Bellatrix down in the corner. And then when you open it up, it is purple like Philosopher's Stone. However, it is a darker purple. I think they should have gone with yellow for one of the covers instead of two purples and two blues. That way they would have had like every rainbow color. <laughs> So they totally should have done like a yellow and maybe a pink or something instead of two purples and two blues. That's just my opinion. <laughs> um, but overall, it, they are gorgeous books. They're really sturdy. I've already read Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. I mean, I've read all the books, but my first time owning these copies, I've read Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and I'm halfway through Prisoner of Azkaban, and they're holding up very, very well. I'm so glad I didn't get the paperbacks for Christmas. Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I will leave a link in the description where you can buy these. Um, you can go to the Bloomsbury website. I think Abe Books, that was the website that I saw them on, has it. And my mom actually got them off of the UK Amazon, so I'll try to find them on there as well. Um, but, I mean, they're really gorgeous. I think it's probably definitely worth it if you're not sure if you should get these or the American ones. Get these. Spend the extra money. It would be worth If you're going to spend that much money on... The American hardcovers or something or the American paperbacks just spend an extra 20 bucks or something whatever to get the UK edition paperbacks or hardbacks they will blow your mind they're absolutely stunning um, a lot of the words I didn't know so in America my cat in America um, when someone's talking it's in quotation marks um, and in these books it's just like an apostrophe I'm I probably sound so grammatically incorrect or something. Don't mind me. But when it's when they're talking, it was hard to get used to because it was like they weren't really talking. But other than that, I got used to that. They're worth it. They're worth every penny. If you haven't read these books already, you need to read these books. They are amazing. They're incredible. They take you on such great journeys and it's such a great fandom to join you can get lots of cool merch like this makuza shirt i'm wearing that you might have seen in my harry potter haul if you watch that um but yeah it's just totally worth it to get these um i don't know what else to say i'll just say i want to thank you guys for watching please give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video yeah just give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more nerdy videos um I'm not sure what I have coming up next as far as video plans, um, but yeah, I know I will definitely have some stuff. I've got some ideas, so yep, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. It was just in, you know, I'm going to kill my cat. Okay, not really. Don't call the SPCA. I promise I won't. Okay.